Hello and welcome to another of Turtleton's tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at how to kill the first shopkeeper you encounter in the game Spelunky, specifically the one on the mines level 2 or 1-2. As you'll see in this video we're going to be looking at the four most common, most well recognized ways of killing the shopkeeper, which require just the base starting items consumables, and don't involve having the shotgun or the freeze ray present in the shop, which you simply just pick up and use to kill the shopkeeper, which is hardly worth a tutorial. Each of the four methods of killing the shopkeeper have a different cost of consumables, bombs, ropes, and health, as well as a different and varying level of skill. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first method is basically walking up to the shopkeeper, whipping in the face, picking up the shotgun, and killing him. Perfect. However, it's slightly more complicated than I'm letting on, so why don't we break it down a little bit further. The first thing to do after you've located your shop is move in to be facing the shopkeeper, roughly where the very last item in the shop is, that being the item closest to the shopkeeper, furthest away from the door. You don't want to go too far and you don't want to be under the lip of the alcove where the shopkeeper is standing, just outside. At which point, very simply, you whip him. This is going to cause the shopkeeper to aggro on you and charge. Now, you're going to take one health's worth of damage here, which is the cost of this particular maneuver, and he's going to send you bouncing up into the sky. He's going to get stunned momentarily and drop the shotgun between the two points, the two yellow bars you see on the screen. When you're at the pinnacle of your jump, you want to be moving left. You're not going to really have any control at this point until you start moving down, but it's key for quick execution. You'll want to move left and pick up the shotgun. You can run, but there's a tendency to overshoot where the shotgun is. You do simply have enough time to walk to pick up the shotgun, although it's going to be a little bit close. Once you have picked up the shotgun, the shopkeeper is probably going to come to and is going to charge you, but it's okay, because at that point you can simply shoot him in the face. It's going to take three shots to kill the shopkeeper, so don't be stingy with your bullets. So, watching this once more at full speed, you see we walk into the shop, whip our shopkeeper, bounce, jump, pick up the shotgun, kill, blast, destroy. Perfect. So now let's have a look at the second technique where we'll be jumping and throwing a bomb, which is obviously going to be the cost in this one. No health reduction, however, which is very nice. So again, you locate the shop and you move to the point furthest away from the shopkeeper. Throw a bomb, pick up the shotgun, and kill him. Hopefully, about half the time he's going to actually explode on the bomb itself. Sometimes not, but we'll cover that in a minute. Once again, breaking this down to its key components, you move into the shop. This time, you're going to the item closest to the door, that being the one furthest from the shopkeeper. Then you jump, and just after the point of jumping, you're going to want to throw the bomb. This is going to aggro the shopkeeper, who, as you can see, is going to take a shot at you. Fortunately, you're going to be in the air at the time the bullets sail under your feet. So, the shopkeeper is going to carry on running out, and the bomb's going to hit the back wall of the shop. Lots of stuff is happening. You pretty much at this point are going to reach the pinnacle of your jump and then will be falling back down to land squarely on the shopkeeper's head. Here the shotgun was once again going to land in between the two yellow bars which is slightly further along out of the shop and the bomb is going to bounce and roll somewhere around on the floor. Now you need to take this time to once again pick up the shotgun and kill the shopkeeper before he runs to you. Again, you can do this by walking, you don't have to run. In many cases, it's more sensible to take it slow as you have more precision. Either way, as soon as you've picked up the shotgun, kill the shopkeeper and, hopefully, the bomb will finish the rest for you. Sometimes this doesn't happen, as we'll see in this interpretation of the exact same maneuver, but in that case, well, just shoot him twice more and be done with it. It is now at this point we address the most difficult of the maneuvers. As you'll see here, we run into the shop, whip, hit the shopkeeper, throw the shopkeeper, grab the shotgun, and kill him. A lot of stuff seems to be going on in this one, so we will once again break it down to its composite parts. 
Now, as I've said, this is the more complex maneuver to pull off, but there is no cost to bombs, ropes, or health, arguably making it the best choice in all cases. The first noticeable difference here is you need to run into the shop, and when you reach roughly the point of the very first item going into the shop, you need to jump. At the pinnacle of your jump, the highest point off the floor, which will occur roughly three items in, or the second item closest to the shopkeeper, you need to start whipping. If everything goes to plan, you'll land the whip squarely on the shopkeeper's head. While this is similar to the first maneuver in that you're whipping the shopkeeper, you're now actually elevated somewhat. So when the shopkeeper runs out of the shop, he forces you upwards, taking no damage. Of course, he doesn't take any damage either for some reason. So, he turns around and he tries to shoot you. Of course, you're up in the air and don't really care. So, the shopkeeper will run back to you and for some reason he'll jump into your feet, which causes him to be stunned and drop the shotgun. Now, unfortunately, the shotgun and the shopkeeper usually land right on top of each other meaning you can't simply pick up the shotgun and execute the shopkeeper. So firstly, you have to grab the shopkeeper and throw him back into the alcove of the shop. There you can grab the shotgun, and when the shopkeeper turns around, you can proceed to shoot him once more in the face as we have grown so accustomed to doing. So once again, we're going to look at this executed in real time. So we run into the shop, jump, whip, bounce, pick up shopkeeper, throw shopkeeper, pick up shotgun, kill, shopkeeper. Lovely. And as I've said, there are of course times when this execution results in the shopkeeper landing differently and not on the shotgun, meaning you can just kill him. Be prepared that either event can happen, so play it safe and assume you're going to have to throw the shopkeeper. The fourth and final method revolves around a glitch whereby you pull the shopkeeper outside of the area of the shop and reduce his relative aggro range. And you do this by walking to slightly outside the shop and placing down a rope, stealing an item and waiting for the shopkeeper to walk under you, placing the item back down, and then if there is a ledge you can place a bomb right next to him, otherwise do something a little bit more fancy. In any case, Shopkeeper doesn't get aggroed by the bomb, and it's a relatively easy kill. There are, of course, a few words of warning. You see, in many cases, the item closest to the shop door, oftentimes where the shotgun lands, is not going to be an item which you instantly pick up, such as bombs or ropes. Sometimes it will be a present or a weapon which won't allow you to actually kill the shopkeeper, and you need to be careful just to make sure that you don't pick that item up, otherwise the event you just saw could happen. To the same effect, and infinitely more embarrassingly, you can have the same problem with rats. You see here this rat running along, well, it so happens that you can pick the rat up instead of the shotgun due to the priority that the game picks up items, resulting in your death. Now, the best thing to do, more often than not, is at your convenience, take the rat outside of the shop, throw him down to play with snakes, and then you can go about your business of killing the shopkeeper in whatever fashion you choose. And one final word. As you see in all these videos, I have practiced numerous times on the tutorial levels of Spelunky. You see, you can play through up to the point of getting to the first shopkeeper in the tutorial, and you can practice each one of these maneuvers at your leisure and with zero consequence of if you die. If you successfully make the execution of the shopkeeper, place down some bombs and kill yourself in a creative and wonderful explosion of gore and mess, and then you get to repeat the experience again until either you're fully confident with your skills or you simply want to try executing a different maneuver. Well, with that being said, I hope you both enjoyed this tutorial and gained something of use from it, and I hope to see you again next time.